Inshallah, hopefully. Inshallah. Okay, fair enough. Alright, inshallah and hopefully all of those very very encouraging words coming there from Tech and Neeraj Shah in conversation with the management. We've got to take a short commercial break but we return with lots more of that interaction. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching Rush Hour right here on ET Now. Just before we went, we did tell you we'll get you more from the Tech Mahindra management. Very, very robust set of numbers coming there from the IT major. Neeraj Shah, of course, continues to grill the management as far as the BT stake sale is concerned. Sanjay, uh, one word really again, and before I talk to you about the non-BT part as well, just one word on you know the contract that kind of had a lot of questions last quarter, and you said that you were probably still working on how the modalities of that contract would whatever you just re received the restructuring fees. The other finer points would be released later on. Are you in a position to talk about that? Uh, still work in progress, all the closer to the destination now mm -hmm. than I was three months ago. <laughs> it's right. a large, complex contract, mm -hmm. but work is continuing on those contracts, if right. that gives you any feeling for what it is. Okay, uh, the non-BT part and I was speaking to Mr. Nair just a couple of days ago about uh, the, the shares that were exchanged uh, and of course uh, the talk is that assuming that it is AT&T, if indeed they have done so, uh, he has categorically said that it does not mean that the business from AT&T would go down. Would you still maintain that over the next two or three quarters? The business from AT&T as an individual client will not go down? We normally listen to our superiors and repeat what they say. <laughs> so Fair I'm enough. happy to repeat that. Right. And uh, on top of that, uh, I, I think I'm fairly confident if we maintain the level of service we've offered them, if realities of the world remain the same, uh, I see the relationship with AT&T, especially on the back of the recognition where we've now realized that Finally, they said, son, you've grown up and you've become a good boy. I think we will keep going back for more business and hopefully if we do everything right, we should continue to see success at at and Inshallah, I'll repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the BPO business, Mr. Nair, and uh, you know, a concern, if you can call it that, that analysts believe that this is probably one space which is a low margin business compared to the other, other services that you provide, and you're increasingly focusing on that. Uh, a valid concern, you think? I don't think so. I think uh, we are perhaps one of the largest uh, BPO providers in. Uh, for Indian uh, uh, Indian uh, uh, corporates, and that may be giving the assumption that uh, we have low margins, but I think our margins are very healthy there. Otherwise, we wouldn't be expanding at the pace we are. Hmm. And how has the pace been in the quarter? I would just like you to reiterate because Q3, you did mention that there has been significant headcount addition, yeah. but they were going under the trading process. Results is showing Q4 and FY11. Yeah, we are. We grew quarter on quarter by close to nine percent. Hmm. Uh, and our year-on-year -year growth has been 27%. And you would maintain that going ahead? Or better that? Should I say inshallah again? <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, that looks uh, great. Uh, one word really uh, from you again on how the wage hikes would impact you. I mean, Q2 was, I believe, the quarter in which you did give out uh, wage hikes. Uh, would any more wage hikes on the anvil and how would they impact margins going ahead? Well, you see, last year was an unusual year. Otherwise, typically, uh, our uh, uh, you know, appraisal and increments are cycle uh, ends at March and uh, increases are effective 1st of April. Uh, we haven't taken a final view yet, but certainly, uh, you know, your question on margins, in, in the immediate future, there are going to be some headwinds which are going to come from uh, salary increases, as well as we will s see the full impact of what has happened on currency at the sterling end. So these are two headwinds which we will see in margins hmm. uh, in, in the quarter that comes. Hmm. Sanjay, so, yeah, we don't think wage hikes are near term certainty because most of FPS are actually going ahead. And, you know, in conversations with at least two or three companies, I also heard about poaching being fairly rampant. Uh, you don't think wage hikes are a near term certainty? You know, wage hikes are a certainty. It's the quantum of wage hike that we are working on. Right. And but in any ballpark estimates that you have, that you probably need to, uh, you know, give on an average uh, an X amount of hike and within an X amount of period from today that we're talking about. Uh, look, uh, we are in the same industry. There are competitive pressures. The market pressures are there, so we will react in the right time. In fact, not just you, I, and my other 33,500 colleagues are also interested in that. Of course. <laughs> 
Uh, right. Now I was just trying to get a sense of indeed some bit of pressure out of this wage hikes could come in Q1 or would it be delayed in probably Q2 or Q3? Uh, I, I would uh, you know, hold back on giving you an exact answer there because it's better that I execute it first and then come back. Thank all. Uh, Mr. Nair, uh, I, I read about the deals that you signed uh, and you know, Indian, new Indian telecom operator, North America is also showing traction. Uh, in, in terms of geographies, emerging markets and NA, is it showing a lot more traction than what it was say probably NQ to Q3? Uh, no, I think the tra traction is still quite, uh, uh, is of a superior kind in the emerging markets. We are getting a lot of business there. Uh, and Europe, not surprisingly, is uh, somewhat surprisingly, is also mm. doing very well for us. Something would you like to add to it? Uh, look, uh, telecom as a sector uh, has not been having that rara time uh, that many other business sectors have. Uh, overall, if I look at it from the perspective of a vendor uh, provider like Tech Mahindra, I would say US uh, is as we thought it would be. Uh, there is uh, tenders in the market, there's RFPs, there, there's talk, pre-sales folks are active. Uh, in Middle East, in India, in Asia Pacific, uh, I don't know where they pop up from, but we still hear every few days somebody pops up and says, I'm creating a greenfield telco and will you come in and help us? Because we seem to be recognized in that area as people who can take people from planning board to a launch network very quickly. Hmm. Uh, Europe, while uh, in our existing customers, uh, we are seeing that uh, the engagements and new businesses, the discussions are on as planned. Some of the new large deals that we had seen, we are finding that the deadlines are being stretched out and hmm. extended out. So that would be the best uh, right. idea I could give you of what is happening in our markets. Hmm. In fact, you know, again, to that impact effect, uh, whether it be in telecom focused IT providers or otherwise, most people said that the significantly large deals would probably happen in Q3 and Q4, not necessarily in the first half of FY11. It, it would be consistent with uh, what our experience is. All right, fair enough. Uh, two, I'm just trying to get one scoop out of this interview if I can. And just wondering, there are two or three rumors doing the rounds. One of them principally being that you are in talks uh, for a large deal, probably a billion dollar deal with a New Zealand company. One, is it true? Uh, how soon can we expect anything? I mean, chief executive is meant to dodge these questions. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we are an existing uh, partner <laughs> of Telecom New Zealand and they have gone and said they are talking to several vendors, we are one of them and we are all working towards saying uh, may the best one win. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, so may the best man win for Tech Mahindra. That was indeed the top management of that IT major speaking to Neeraj Shah. Uh, quickly recap the numbers there. Profits at 227 crore rupees is up 31% quarter on quarter. Very, very good set of numbers there. You've seen the Rush Hour right here on East Media.